Hey guys, this is Emerald Fire, and today I have for you a one tick 31 bit custom range random number generator. What does all that mean? Well, I'll just show you. First, we just have to create three objectives random number, and that just uses the standard objective creating command rand min and rand max. This will be the output, this will be the minimum number and this will be the maximum number. This will just put it in the sidebar so we can see the results. And here's where we can choose our minimum and maximum output. Let's keep it simple and pick a random number from 1 to 10. All right, and start. And as you see over there, it picked 9. And if I just keep pressing this, I'll get a random number each time. So that's all well and good, but what if we want a larger range, say from 1 to 1,000? Well, just change the range and get a new set of numbers. This also works with negative numbers, so I can set it from 1,000 to negative 2,000. And this whole thing only takes one tick. So you can actually hook it up to a fill clock with a one tick delay instead of a half tick delay and just get a bunch of random numbers. To show that, I've put together a little simulation here with rabbits. These rabbits will pick a random number from one to 10 and pick a color of wool appropriate to that number. This whole thing will take 64 ticks because there are 64 rabbits. I can press this and it will start. And there you go, 64 random numbers from 1 to 10. You could also adjust this range, but of course you are just limited by the number of wool. If you didn't want to have wool blocks, you could do any number, any range, and get that many random numbers in that many ticks. And that is why this thing is so great. It's only 6 by 7 and everything is executed relevant, uh, relative to this bunny. So you can just take it from MC Edit and paste it anywhere in your world and using these three commands, this one, this one, and this one, and assuming you have the objectives set up, then this will work anywhere and anytime. Okay, now I'll just briefly explain how this works. This system uses binary random number generation. A 1 or a 0 is randomly chosen for each bit, yielding a random number with that many bits. This system is expanded to use 31 bits. Two entities are summoned, one to represent 1s and the other to represent zeros. For each bit, one is randomly chosen using at r to have its scoreboard value increased by the value of that bit. In the end, the zeros entity is discarded and the ones entity is left with the random number. The next step is to get the random number in the custom range. The minimum value is subtracted from the maximum value and one is added to the result. The random number is then modulus divided by the range which produces a number from 0 to the range minus 1. Finally, the minimum value is added to that number, and the result is a random number within the custom range. If you're familiar with pseudo-random number generators, you may have noticed something about my method. Modular division only takes the remainder of the division, so if the random number is not divisible by the range, then the result will be slightly skewed towards the lower end of the spectrum. However, unless your range is upwards of a million, you wouldn't even notice that it is practically 0% skewed. So don't worry about it, and even if it is in the millions, if you have, say, a random number from 1 to a million, that's going to be less than 1% difference. And if you have a number, say, from 1 million to 1 million and 500, that won't make any difference because the range is 500, not a million and 500. And that's about it. The MC Edit schematic for the random number generator will be in the description, as well as all the commands needed to use it. But that's it for this video. 
I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.